So this is a response video about PEMF devices. Uh, somebody on the bioelectric healing uh, telegram chat group asked me about the type of PEMF devices that I own and some advice on how to go and select one for themselves. So I'm just going to do a little bit of YouTube show and tell and kind of explain to you what I use and why I have these devices and then kind of explain more uh, when I get on my computer about you know how you would go about trying to determine what would be the best device for you because at the end of the day PEMF stands for pulse electromagnetic field and it's it's can be applied in a multitude of different ways and there are numerous different devices out there so to each person who wants or is interested in getting one you really need to sit and think about you know what are you getting it for and so this is kind of why I want to show you what I have. So right now, uh, this is one of my uh, oldest models. I've had this forever. This is the Magnetic Pulser from Soda Instruments. It's the MPG-4. They're up to uh, MPG-6 now, I believe. And so this is considered a paddle. Uh, well, obviously, it's a paddle, right? So this is a paddle magnetic pulser. Inside this paddle is a big old pancake coil. And basically, this thing will pulse... Um, every few seconds until it gets too hot and then turn itself off okay and the whole point of using this is to accompany the Bob Beck protocol in which it needed a PEMF pulse to get to your uh, I believe it was your lymph nodes in order to get to the deep rooted viruses that hide out in your lymph nodes which uh, blood electrification cannot do the blood just doesn't get there that far so the whole point of me getting this originally was for just that purpose for the Bob Beck protocol but then I've also known that you could also because of this thing is pretty strong you can also use this for just general uh, types of issues like sore muscles and things like that and also too because one of the things about a pulse electromagnetic field is that it causes something called electroporation of your cellular walls that makes them more permeable for things to kind of soak into them so if you let's say were you know I use this on my dog for instance because uh, it's really hard to do the Beck protocol on a dog uh, but if uh, but one time like she got leptospirosis uh, which drinking uh, water out of a stream in Hawaii when they got rat feces and it gets like E. coli contaminated and the dog gets really bad diarrhea so the best way to treat the dog in my opinion was to give her colloidal silver and then I basically electroporated her 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 intestines while I was after I gave her the colloidal silver to kind of just help her absorb the silver ions deeper into her body and, it, and, and into her digestive system and it worked really well uh, you know and she was better like the very next day so the whole idea though is that the paddle pulsers is one version of PEMF and this is one of the things that I own show and tell the other one that I own is the ePulse 8000 and it's also there's also there's lots of different models of this thing it's huge it weighs 60 pounds and what it's for and I originally got this for my horse uh, when I used to have a horse and so it's got this big old coil and to kind of give you an idea I think uh, this one I forget I think it's like I don't know 3500 gauss or something like that uh, in terms of strength the magnetic uh, fields are measured in gauss and then when you get really high they're measured in uh, in a in a measurement called Tesla this thing right here uh, pumps out a pulse you know like a just it pulses like pulse pulse right and it kicks out a, a pulse about two Tesla it's so strong I mean it's meant for a horse right uh, it, but it's so strong that you can't put this anywhere near your head and also too by I just gotta warn you, you you cannot have implants if you've got pacemakers or you got those things they put in your head or anything else that regulates your body uh, you got electronics in you never 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 use a PEMF device no matter how big it is uh, it is just way too dangerous especially this this would probably kill that person um, but the idea behind this though is it's meant for a 2,000 pound critter where you can put it you know and, and it's meant for um, basically increasing because of electroporation all right because of electroporation it increases the oxygen saturation of the blood so a lot of uh, horse trainers will use this and, and actually you know like there was a couple of derbies ago Kentucky derbies and I remember distinctly reading an article where there was like 18 horses uh, that were competing and 16 of them uh, used a pulse electro pulse uh, uh, you know PMF therapy just like this using one of these types of machines 16 out of 18 for the Kentucky Derby and what it did was it increases the rate 
of oxygen saturation in the blood so they would use it before the race and then after the race you know your muscles are tense and you know you've kind of had a hard workout uh, they'll use the they'll use the uh, the coils on the horse again after to help improve the rate of recovery uh, of the muscles and you know and, and release the tension and things like that and it works too I mean uh, there, there's been many times where I've had like uh, you know strenuous workouts where I've had bad leg days where your legs are just like you know they're just twitching. Uh, put the coil on your legs, on my legs, and you know and and basically run it for about you know 15 minutes. Uh, there's a timer here. Turn on on off switch and so forth. And and it would definitely. I mean, you would literally not not feel any pain and you'd be fine the next day. And if you didn't, you know, I need to be all stiff and stuff. So uh, that's what this is for. You can use it on a human. Um, but again, not, not a human who's got any uh, type of electronics inside them and, and never near your head. And be real careful around joints because it will jar you. So the best thing to do with a coil is, you know, around big areas of your body. And then if you have like, you know, like around joints and things like that, you want to put a thick towel between you and the coil so you're not as close to it. Uh, but yeah, this works really, really good. Uh, these units are pretty hardcore uh, you know these average around like 12 grand each I got this uh, for a great deal for eight grand brand new these guys run about 350 really great works great for the Beck protocol and then the other one I've got a third one now and this is the what do you call this this is the TD HP 10 slash MHPP 10 <laughs> magnetic pulser uh, from information unlimited uh, website amazing one.com and uh, anyway so these guys are just a bunch of electronic engineer guys who invent stuff and sell it and so I was really interested in this uh, this is a very different kind of magnetic pulser this guy just puts out a magnetic pulse this guy just puts out a magnetic pulse this guy puts out a magnetic pulse using these things called uh, well they're called pancake coils right and you plug the coils in and then not only does it put out a pulse and then you can actually turn the pulse up or down in terms of strength you can also send a frequency through the pulse so you can dial in a frequency so this is called you know for lack of a better phrase this is called a frequency specific PEMF device and so that's the really big difference here um, between this and the other two is that you can actually transmit a frequency using this one and this one's experimental uh, this is just for people who want to learn I mean you could use it for therapy uh, you could pick any type of frequency I've tried several different ones you can use this for this is also being used for dream research right now you put the pancake coil under the pillow run different frequencies you can also uh, I got a set of uh, LED lights that go with this thing so you can actually plug the LED lights in there and have the pulses matching the light blinking uh, to do brain studies and things like that you know so it's pretty cool uh, but anyway so this was kind of like my toy um, I've used this uh, several times just trying to see what it can do um, and so far I haven't had, had you know really found a use case uh, but it is cool because you know you could you could just you know you could just like kind of like a uh, if you have a spooky 2 the spooky 2 has a coil on it like a pancake coil I mean like a paddle coil I mean and it can also uh, you know, transmit frequencies through so this can do that as well uh, lots of different things you can do with it but it's it's more so like my toy but those are the three that I own so let's go ahead and take a look at what other PEMF devices are out there okay so now in terms of what other types of PEMF devices are out on the market this is just an image search on on DuckDuckGo that kind of just shows you all of the different types of models that are out there so you know it is you know for anyone who's like interested in PEMF therapy and wondering what device to get yeah it's not gonna be a simple search um, the best thing I could suggest is that if you're interested in PEMF these things are not cheap so you, I would suggest that you know uh, you would go to a, like a chiropractor um, try it out to see if it if it works for you and, and then de depending on what type of uh, device that they're using you know and that works for you uh, might be a good solution for you and or probably cheaper just to get treatments versus buying your own but I do want to point out again that these are the multiple different types of devices that are out there you can see from these pictures right here these are these big you know these big giant ones like I have uh, that I have uh, for horses and or you know you can they're, they're for people as well uh, they have the coil like this this is just the office you know the on the shelf model of this this is portable uh, this is the this puts out the same level of energy it's called the PMF 120 
Uh, and it also uses coils. You can put coils around. Now, it's not as strong as the one made for horses. So you can put it around your neck and sort and things like that. But you can treat, uh, you can treat like basically, I guess this lady right here is treating like, you know, basically tennis elbow. Uh, you can treat organs and things like that. Now, so there's basically, I would call like the coil models, the PMF 120s, the PMF 8000s. You know, they have basically big coils. That's what those are for. Now, the other ones that you can see are out there are these pads where you either lay on them or they're small pads that you can apply directly to a certain uh, you know area of your body uh, so their pad ones um, are, are very beneficial for like very very low uh, energy uh, pulses uh, and some of them have you can put a frequency into the pulse itself and those are meant to be more therapeutic as opposed to treating injuries uh, and so you can you know basically do long-term treatments for all sorts of different kinds of issues and that's the thing too that I really want to point out is that again you know it depends on what you're trying to address um, but sometimes you, if you get a pad it's way different than a coil and then you've got these little guys right here I want to like this guy's here is the earth pulse it's just got it's like that uh, the TDH from uh, from the one I showed you with the pancake coils itself has a pancake coil you'd put it under your pillow put it under a body part uh, and lay on it for a while as opposed to laying on a pad you know it's the same thing except the pads your whole you're doing your whole body obviously a little coil or a smaller pad you're doing up up you know up, uh, you know targeting an area of your body then you've got these guys right here that's like the mirror mates uh, I forgot what this other one's called. And these kinds of ones now are where uh, you want to treat, again, you can do targeted treatments for uh, specific areas of your body, so clearly not your whole body, uh, you know, but you, know, you can see how you can get really, really small and target, or you can get like a pad that you can lay on, or you can put your you know your pillow and so forth so there's lots of different models and all sorts of different ones and so one of the things that I would recommend if you're out there looking for one and you're wondering you know should I get one that I lay on should I get one that's a coil you know then really I, I would suggest that you start go to Google Scholar all right and type in PMF and and you know you see right PMF and and you see all these different ones yeah it's basically you can find studies on at Google Scholar, that's just what Google Scholar does. It's like the search engine for science studies and science articles. And if you type in PMF, and let's say you've got whatever your issue might be, uh, you've got you know depression, cancer, you want issues with sleep, inflammation, prostate, and more. You could type in anything, uh, and you're going to basically find uh, information about that. So that's kind of where I would say you should start. And so let's just say like oh, I have issues with sleep, right? So I want to improve my sleep. Uh, and this is what I just did, actually. I'm, we're uh, currently doing PMF week <laughs> on Telegram. And so, uh, you know, in my research for doing the, the week-long series on PMF on Telegram, you know, I got issues with sleep. I've had issues with sleep forever. And so I found this article, and it's really kind of cool. It's his website, on the, uh, and it's uh, by Dr. Pollock. And so I was reading this uh, this article, and it covered a lot of very specific studies that had been done. And so really that's the modality, you know, that's the methodology that I would highly recommend. Find what your specific issue is, find what people have, you know, scientists have studied uh, PEMF in relationship to that issue, and then figure out what they learned and what works for them. And in this study, if you read this study and you've got issues with sleep, they determined that a solid pulse or a, a PEMF pulse of three hertz was what was actually the, had the best results in a double-blind placebo study uh, with people uh, having issues with sleep, getting to sleep, staying asleep, and waking up, you know, not, not waking up early. And so that was the thing that was really fascinating. I was reading this thing, and I'm like, oh, wow. And so they had all the studies, all the science was there, and they just said, hey, you know what? And then Dr. Pollock, which, by the way, I want to just say that this guy, this older guy right here, let me show him right here, this guy right there, doctor, he is like the PMF guru, been around for decades, and he is really so Solid. And the cool thing about um, Pollock that I really, really like is that he just doesn't represent one brand. You know, he's just not trying to sell you one thing. He's got multiple different units that do multiple different things, just like I said, right? And so he's going to recommend to you what um, 
is best for you, not whatever he's selling. Like if you've ever took a look at the book, the PMF book, or okay, at the end of the book, the guy ends up you know, disclosing he's a rep for a certain product, and all he talks about at the end of the book is his product. So the book PMF is literally an infomercial. I mean, it's got great information all the way to the last chapter uh, you know, about PMF in general and all the science behind it, and it's really a good reference. But at the end, you know, the guy's pushing his product, and you can't blame him. That's what he's trying to do. Uh, you know, but this Dr. Pollock is, is different. He's got multiple different products, so he's not going to just push you the one he reps for. He's going to push you the one that's the best fit for you. You know, hey, people got to make a living, right? But anyway, so as I was reading this this site, basically, he's basically saying this is all the studies. This is what works. This is work. You know, this is what shows will work. And so that got me personally perked into like, oh wow, okay. Well, and then my first question is like, well, I could take my experimental one, you know, dial it down to three, put it under my pillow, and try it. And yes, I'm going to. Or you can just buy the one that's recommended by Dr. Pollock and said, this is the one that works for that. And there you go. So, so it's clearly you can see how it's so important to know what you want and then getting some professional advice as to what the best device is for that. Now, let's say if I had acute uh, back pain, you know, you know that, that happens, right? So if I were to say, you know, PMF and uh, and back pain you know i'm just just throwing it out there i don't know if i'll find actual back pain but you might you know uh, or just say pain oh there you go see pmf back pain and so there you go and so you go here's pmf effectiveness and lower back pain and then you read through the clinical trial and you read through the science studies and says hey this is what worked and not just what worked but how was it frequency specific was it coils was it pads was it you know uh, you know so forth right you get my point so that's the whole point so if you want to know right What's the best one for you? Go look in school or scholar, figure out what works in the studies, and then go hunting for the device that's specific. And again, I do recommend Dr. Pollock. I, by the way, I have no affiliation. I don't make any money making this video. I don't sell any PMF products. It's just something that, as you can see, I have, I have them, and I use them, and I, I swear by them. Here, There's a soda one right there. So there you go. And so I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, and this is my show and tell what I have in PMF devices and my recommendation on how, uh, on the best way to go find what's right for you. And I hope you do find what's right for you. And if you're interested in PMF, we're, we're still doing it. It's like, what, Thursday today? Uh, we're doing PEMF week, which means every single day I'm posting a bunch of stuff about PEMF. So on Monday, it was like, what is PEMF? Uh, or not Monday, but Tuesday was the first day of the week. Uh, the second day, I think we did, um, or I did, um, Oh, PMF studies, a whole bunch of studies that came off of Ghoulish Goggler, you know, scholar, like, you know, PMF for osteoporosis, PMF for diabetes, PMF for cancer, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, and then today I did a whole series of posts about PEMF for pets and for livestock. And, and it's, you know, and, and showing videos about how to use it on a, on a horse, how it use it, you know, on dogs and things like that. And, and a study uh, by a veterinarian, uh, you know, uh, a medical association on the use of PEMF in the medical, in the veterinarian field. So, you know, so every day I'm posting a lot of stuff about PEMF. And so I just wanted to throw this out there as part of PEMF week that this is what I have and this is how you choose what's best for you. And good luck. I, I hope that you do find what, what helps you and I hope that you feel better uh, by doing it. All right. So thank you and have a great day.